Yo, what is up gamers? We're here on the basement extra large with a bloody stream, or as I like to call it, Brimstone 2. I'm sure you're wondering what this item does, and I promise you it will not disappoint. It's a six room charge, and when we use it, we go bubblem. <laughs> Utterly annihilating every single enemy in the room with a bloody brimstone vortex. Nothing can survive. That's also the reason I decided to pick Azazel for today. We don't get to- What the hell are you? What? Excuse me? <laughs> that is- That is vile. Do not do that again. We don't get to use Azazel too often, and with a brimstone character where I need to show off an active item, I thought, hey, this is perfect. This comes from the Deliverance mod. We have played with this mod before. I have not touched it in a bit. So I thought I'd boot it up a little bit and see what's going on with it. I came across this item and I thought, dude, I just have to spotlight this. What is this thing? Now, Deliverance obviously doesn't just add specific items and trinkets and such, but these new enemies... A very in-depth mod, very cool. Please come back so I can shoot you. So on top of the bloody stream, we might be able to come across some new stuff and experience a lot of gaming. That is Sharp Straw. I do not want it. We have a new bloody stream available. Let's see the boss damage since we have two bosses anyway. A dangle fight immediately gets annihilated. And the cool thing about this is that it also leaves behind creep. So it's not just the brim damage. It's also the extra overdue damage that lingers behind that you also get for free. Assuming the enemy is not flying. Mr. Belly's awesome. Range plus tears up. The two things you really want is Azazel. I'd argue this is one of the best boss items you could get as Azazel. On top of the fact that it's just a bunch of extra hearts. And then we'll save another bloody stream for the other boss. Now, I don't know if this thing scales with damage. I have to imagine it does. Like, if I get a buttload of damage, like a Polyphemus random ass drop, and then I decide to press spacebar, I'm pretty sure I'll be one-shotting every boss in the game. So, our highest priority of today is to use Bloody Stream as much as possible because it's super duper dope and maximize our damage stat as much as we can. We have another Bloody Stream available right away. This basement XL is going hard, but I don't have that many rooms left. Let's just clear it out and then uh, press spacebar in the boss pool as well as this juicy treasure room which i have a feeling will be a first floor oh! okay it's not first floor poly but it is damn near close this is humongous and sigil of baphomet why am i so lucky today we will be participating cricket's body works so well the brimstone i'm pretty sure there was a time where it did not work but as of now we are mad chilling this is also going to be a good opportunity to see if bloody stream works with synergies i don't see a reason why it wouldn't but i also kind of see a reason reason why it wouldn't. I have no idea how this item is going to be coded, so maybe by some random chance it just doesn't work. I wouldn't blame anyone for saying that <laughs> this isn't going to work, but I might as well test it out. But either way, even if it doesn't work, it by itself is utterly broken. We have a lot of money, so let's hit up the shop just because why not? Oh my god. Kind of wish I came in here earlier so I could have bought the, the Diplo and then started restocking. Can't really go back on that right now. Or, hold on. I know I said I wanted to bloody stream the boss, but this is just the more effective play. How about we go ahead and Diplopia, the guaranteed deal that we have. A assuming we want to, you know, we might, we might not, but <laughs> hopefully we do. If I really don't want to, I could just Diplo the PJs. What's in here? What are you? That sprite looks awesome. Gives a huge damage bonus after killing the enemy, which quickly decreases. Gives you a small damage bonus for each monster you kill. What? That's crazy good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll take it for freebies. Why not? This also means that we won't be getting uh, angel deals locked out whatsoever because we're not specifically paying for items. So angels are still in play. We get the PJs and let's go pick up our bloody stream. This obituary seems crazy. It's the type of item I would spotlight by itself, but now it's just here. Nice. Give me that and let's go next floor, dude. Bro's playing Azazel and only made it to downpour two in five minutes and a half. This guy can't even play the Binding of Isaac fast. Bro fell off for real. Okay, moving forward, I think I'm just gonna use the bloody stream as soon as possible just because I'm interested in it. It's such a sick item. How could I not want to use it? And look at that. My goodness. We also are just getting damage up because of this crazy obituary item. And the Sigil of Baphomet means that I can uh, kind of effectively run into enemies really easily and proc my mind. My shadow very fast. Treasure room again. Evil eye doesn't work too well with brim. But I'll do it and then I'll regret everything I've ever wanted. Actually, does it even work with brim? This might have been a misplay entirely. This is becoming a very satisfying build very fast. Here we go. We got another boss that we can bloody stream very easily. Let's do it. Goodbye, blub. Oh my god. I have to imagine it scales with damage because I was not doing that prior. Another devil and a Judas would make it so I feel less sad about taking the, the evil eye. <laughs> I'll take the empty vessel. This is really good. I don't even know why I'm doing diagonals. I have flight. 
Uh, Judas's shadow is good to have just in case, you know. We don't have to be Azazel here. Bloody stream does its thing, even if I don't naturally have a brimstone. Maybe end game will uh, end up dying, just giving ourselves that extra damage multiplier. Let's take the pill because it's fun. Disassociative reaction. I have no clue what that means. I dropped a bunch of hearts. I guess, yeah, on the on the ground, um, and then we'll go mirror dimension, which I have to imagine, based on my extensive knowledge of Isaac seating, is right here. Okay, I was a little bit off. It's it's probably right here. Yeah, okay. It's also pretty funny that we have both Judas's shadow and my shadow, basically the exact same sprite. But fun fact, I thought they were the exact same sprite for maybe ten years straight, or however long my shadow was introduced. I think it was introduced in Afterbirth Plus, or even Afterbirth, I believe. But if you take a quick look at them, they're actually not the same sprite. If you flip my shadow back around so it's facing right ways up like Judas, you can see uh, that they're actually a very tiny bit different. The my shadow is very symmetrical. Judas is a little bit different. Why did Edmund do this? What did he mean by this? The world may never know. Dude, my damage is actually getting really high very naturally because of the obituary here. This is borderline unfair. Hello? <laughs> An awesome item. Give me the supper. And then, was there anything good in the shop? A restock or anything new? Um, let's just head out then. I, I think we have the other shop we gotta go to. What it do in here? Red candle? That's incredible. But, uh, not quite my tempo. Thank you, but no thank you. I guess I'll take the pill for fun. Something's, Something's wrong. wrong. I had to activate my narrator cosplay right there. But, uh, yeah, overall, not too great. But, I will be going alternate floors. I feel like I have not been to mine slash ash pit in a while. And I kind of miss seeing ash pit. That could be construed as Stockholm Syndrome as hell, but maybe I just want to see Singe ballin', dude. It could happen. We're actually here on the ash pit. It's been a bit. Let's see if we can cook. I do like coming to ash pit because you get these little rooms with mushrooms and such. Well, this is a bad example, but you get these rooms where you get like free red bombs to chuck at mushrooms. I don't think I've ever had a free mushroom chuck give me magic mushroom, but one day it will happen and it will be glorious. Okay, potentially a bit of a Hail Mary, but I had to do it. I was just talking about it. Imagine like two rooms over it happened. That would have been entirely legendary. Okay, another treasure room this time. Oh! Oh my, Psy Fly. Just the type of item we need. We actually have so much offense here. The only thing I really need is defense. Of course, Scissor Baphomet is also achieving that for us, but the extra defense that we're getting from Psy Fly is definitely not not welcome. That's a bad way to say that. Double negative moment. It's welcome as hell, actually. <laughs> okay, is it Gideon? I immediately remembered why I hate coming to the mines. I can't even abuse Bloody Stream properly here because you're wave based, not one giant boss health bar base. God, I hate your ass. Well, if we come across a very annoying wave, we'll definitely be using it. Whatever wave scares the crap out of me, we'll be pressing spacebar. It's crazy to me that this entire uh, active item is only a six-room charge. Like, how is that fair? <laughs> Didn't Necronomicon used to be, like, a six-room charge before it, like, buffed to four rooms or something? I vaguely remember that being a thing. Holy, that's satisfying as hell. Maybe I'm making that up in my mind, but I, I swear that's something, like, along those lines. Oh my god. God, the pentagram. We got no bombs, we're broke on it, so we'll head down instead. Mines those, curse of darkness, I can barely see. But we should be able to handle the rest of the floor very easily. Because even without being able to see, Azazel has the immaculate ability to make yourself see with his ginormous brimstone. And now that I think about it, I'm really interested to see what Bloody Stream will do to the Curse of Darkness while Mom's Contact is broken. Like, is it really going to light up the entire room? That would be sick to look at. Okay, a couple of special rooms here. We got Curse Room with a heart and a bomb. Bomb's useful. And, uh... I guess I'll check the shop out right now and then head straight to the- Oh, hello, boss. I'm just gonna double brim you because you know, you're not even worth the use of my bloody stream. You're so unbelievably weak. Looking at the boss layout, it does seem like a long room. I'm thinking a tough twins fight, which does imply that we can't use bloody stream to take care of them easily. Yeah, I am correct here. So I'm gonna try and get them out of their shell as much as possible, then press space bar just so that we can get more bloody stream moment. There you go. It's close enough. That'll take care of him. That was actually really good double bondage. Dare I say, I'm proud of myself. I know, blasphemous. Let's head to the devil room and get we need to go deeper. Is we need to go deeper worth three soul hearts and for only one crawl space? Absolutely. Gimme, gimme. Gimme the crawl space. Pick up the bloody stream again. And that wasn't here. 
Uh, I basically paid the what the hell are you? Actual Isaac jump scare moment. I'm crapping myself. I paid the three soul hearts for nasty bombs. Not exactly worth it, but I'm not too opposed to it. Thank you. Now as these floors get bigger and bigger, we're actually going to be more available to press spacebar more often. Tempted to say that sentence again so I don't have to show myself trying to run into that wall there, not realizing there was no door. Majorly embarrassing for me. But yeah, we could press spacebar way more and use it even more. Not just reserved for only the bosses, which is uh, going to be very exciting. Exciting, I think. We got a couple secret room spots that I'm eyeing most definitely. One of them is right here. Oh, okay. And another one is right over here. Okay, now you're really confusing me. <laughs> I refuse to believe you're trying to be quirky and different and you're, you're right over here. Now I really have no clue. Oh, wow, look up though. That's why you always check your sack rooms, guys. You never know what random pickups are going to be in there. You'll be surprised how many soul hearts just randomly spawn by walking in. This thing could be... Uh, damn near anywhere, no? Did I miss? No, I definitely hit this area. It could be above me. It can't be here because this is a skinny room. Um, what the heck? Wacky ass secret room. I, you know, I feel like I'm ego challenged right now and I actually want to find it out for myself. So let's do it. You know, there's a tinted rock here. This is a pretty good place to pick and it was worth it because we get a free damage up and the secret room gives me some sense. That was super worth, dude. I'm happy I did that. Let's get out of here. Now don't get me wrong, I was definitely eyeing the Mausoleum Gehenna play. However, my health is not too incredible. I got like three hearts and one of them is only a bone heart. It could be demolished immediately and I don't want to risk it. I'm going to play it a little bit safe here. Just run around, there you go, fill up my bone heart a bit better. Because there's no reason for me to be experimental here and get too innovative. If I just keep my cool and keep pressing spacebar whenever it's off cooldown, I don't think we can lose. However, if I misplay, uh, that's definitely gonna happen. This is actually an incredible room for this use. I don't wanna get too close as Azazel to the boom flies though, that was awesome. This pill is a health up, nice. And this was the pill we took? I'm confused as to what it does. Drops half of your soul hearts on the floor. Oh, spawns one half soul heart if you don't have any. Oh. Do I have one? I guess we're about to find out, you know, I don't- Okay, well I did have one, whatever. Give me the soul heart from the sack room. I told you, it, it happens more often than you would think. We actually still have the full card from the very beginning because Azazel spawns with it. If we can- Oh, you know what? Cut the video, my voice cracked, I want to die. If we just go super fast here, we can hit boss rush and maybe steal from it. We don't get to do this too often, it's just because <laughs> bloody stream and also Azazel themselves are a little bit broken. If we can do it, I'd love to, but um, I gotta get lucky with the mapping, which right now i did not but it's looking kind of linear so let's keep moving forward there is another full card i definitely don't need that i'm gonna save my bloody stream or the mom fight so it becomes instantaneous and dude if i can just bloody stream the boss rush over and over again that would be so fun can you imagine how easy of a fight that would be also you guys introduced uh walking grimaces maybe the worst thing i've ever seen before all my respect for deliverance has been diminished we got it we're actually right here hello mom Let's pop it open, and then it's not enough right away, but basically enough. Please die, Mr. Host. I need you to explode very quickly. There you go. Let's take the negative, and what's going on in here? Not too much. But what is interesting is how much I'm going to be able to press spacebar. I will try and uh, clock out as many bloody streams as possible. I don't want to TP out here. I'm trying to go for the mega win. That'd be kind of bozo, don't you think, to like go on boss rush and TP out with uh, this kind of powerful prowess. Like, might as well take advantage of it. Let's not do anything whack, I would say. Say. let's just commit here we go this is gonna be our first bloody stream from here on out every other two waves we can do it a bit of a rough one <laughs> Those enemies were very far apart, and even if it did affect the Fallen a lot, it, they would have split. But we'll keep that in mind. I think I should more or less focus on one boss first, not just stand in the middle and try and get both. That's gonna be better overall. Our damage is scaling like crazy. I have to thank Obituary for that. I don't know why an item is this good, but I have so much damage. <laughs> there you go. Destroy the stain. We can see it's definitely scaling with damage as well. Every single time we're using Bloody Stream now, we guaranteed one shot a boss if we get a good hit in, like 100%. Here's another one identify the bigger threat who's bigger up oh, monstro is bigger and then the extra residue damage on dangle just like the first floor i don't know what emin was cooking when he made like the golden hollow that just drops a bunch of different like coins for some reason but i think he might just be the master of baby sensory like he really knows how to make a boss satisfying to kill only one more wave we won't have a blade stream for this but that's okay we're basically one shotting every single boss anyway if not two shotting if not three shotting and three shots for a boss is just uh quite insane if you ask me bloody puppy's cute so i'm thinking you with me and let's see what's going on on the rest of the floor 
I left you behind. What were you? $3 bill? Oh, don't mind if I do. You know, I said to myself, let's check if a Bloody Stream works with Cricket's body, but I didn't really register. Let's try again. Um... I can't tell, but I don't think so. It didn't look like it. I, I mean, maybe I can slow it down and look for any tears that were spurting out, but I, I don't think it was working. Maybe I'm crazy though. Let me just hit up the dono machine. I can get some luck ups from this, maybe, potentially, or I could just lose all of my money. This is a stonks moment for real. You know what? It was a good donation in general, and the plus one luck up is appreciated. I think this is a very obvious secret room, so we'll take it for free. Only one bomb. And then of all the super secret room spots, this one's actually find kind of obvious too not really it might be next to the eld room which that always sucks because that's really hard to guess but oh actually i know it's by the l room because that is uh blocked off okay then you know what there's not too many spots it can be i'll go for it and a dark princess crown is nice as well i think i'm pretty close to having only one red heart for the run if i could just go out of my way to spend a couple on the next devil deal i uh might be able to achieve it that'll be sick okay so like there's three places it can be i'm gonna guess here first Pretty please? No. Then here. Second pretty please? No. And then it has to be guaranteed right here unless I made a major miscalculation. I did not. I was just unlucky. A couple more pills. Telepills. It would have been epic if I I mirrored there. Like there would be no downside, only upsides. Instead I get more dissociative reactions. Uh, no thanks. I'm out. Okay, halfway decent deal chance here. More in our favor than ever. I'd love to blow up a keeper to make that even more guaranteed. But my highest priority right now is, uh, whoa, what the heck? Making sure $3 bill does not bone me over with some random effect. Uh, trying to get rid of these red hearts. I did take the negative. So deals aren't exactly necessary to make this happen. I could absolutely just go to the dark room and spend my hearts. But the more deals, the better. What are you? I don't know how to play against these enemies. <laughs> you think I'm gonna dodge immaculately against enemies? I have no idea. Idea. Now I get it. They're mega hosts, which uh, I guess do a ginormous boom whenever they come back down. That's a sick enemy design. Oh, dude, we are so powerful and doing so well. I would absolutely love to fight Hush. That is definitely in the cards for us. Same rule applies as ever. Some things in Isaac don't change. If you're able to beat Boss Rush nine times out of ten, you're probably going fast enough to already hit Hush. So we've hit that criteria. I think we uh, go for it here. Absolutely. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I thought I was charging my brimstone while coming in here. And, and then I thought I released it, but I guess I simply wasn't. So I thought that guy was going to die. Instead, I went up to his face and then 180'd real quick because my anxiety level shot up. I realized that I was very much in danger. But Blood Puppy clutched it out. Thanks, man. More pills that we have no idea what they are held down is actually useful. Tears up is not too much, but it's nice to have. And a telepills, again, I'll use at the end of the floor. We might get an error room and those are... I believe are a 1 in 50 chance every single telepose you take. While it's a low chance, it's worth it to go for if there's really nothing else you can do. Oh my god, a joker. Or I could use the joker. <laughs> that would also be really cool. Hello, blood puppy. Please stop. 18 damage brimstone with access to bloody stream. Doesn't seem fair, does it? When you can do something like that? My god. What is this? Rotten pork chop? Chance to fire a powerful fart cloud behind you when shooting. Okay, cool. HP up plus ass killer. <laughs> Let's hit up this joker and i just want to take this stuff just because you know I, I really don't want these red hearts anymore um and then i'm gonna take up this one health up take the hello pills no air room and then we'll go to the next floor i'm doing this because i know i have a guaranteed deal on my next floor so i'm hoping there's a two heart mega deal there and then that would put me at one red heart blood oath is also a factor here that i didn't consider blood oath literally just removed my heart <laughs> so if i find one full red heart this will also give us the dark princess crown in a little bit of a more unconventional way to be very real if i'm admitting but whatever gets the job done this should work, no? I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay, there you go. Let's just not take any more hearts then. That is crazy overpowered, dude. That is borderline unfair. <laughs> or telepills, huh? Oh man, I took that heart. Well, I might as well commit. Now I really need this uh, devil deal to pop off for me. I was so enthralled by this potential I am error telepills. Three out of 50 chance. That's not how math works, but I'm still hopeful. Maybe, dude, maybe. I'm holding out hope here. Let's press space bar and kill you <laughs> very fast. And then, oh, I am a fan. What are you? I don't got time. I gotta read fast. Hold on. A ghost spawns in each room holding a pickup and clearing the room at the time we grab the pickup. Okay, nice. Very cool. Awesome. Let me also take the void and then I'll void it because, you know, also why not? It's the exact same charge. 
And we barely make hush in time. Very cool. Now we have maximum hearts. We have Dark Princess Crown and these extra cool new items. Last key is sick as well. The luck up is nice. What's in here? Tiny planet. Very cool. Especially with Brim. I'll take it. And then another one. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, okay, listen, host hat is a better item IMO, but the Eden's Blessing, now that is a, a bit of a fun factor. What? <laughs> I just got scammed, hello? I've never seen that before. I didn't know you could do that. If you're all the way up here, it- whoa, that looked awesome. It's not gonna blow it up? No, I just got scammed, I guess. <laughs> hello? <laughs> What? My goddamn bomb. I'll never get it back. I didn't even get a crawl space. Is there a battery in here? That's wonderful. Oh my god, car battery. Wait, this is sick. Give me the range up. More health, absolutely. And then this battery. Does this mean I get to use the bloody stream twice over? No way. Let's do it, uh, especially when like Hush is down to very low HP and we'll test it out. The tiny planet is going hard here. One of the very few items I would say genuinely benefits another item in terms of synergies like 9 times out of 10 is when you're a Zazel Brimstone and you got tiny planet. Like, dude, just take it every single time. It's just a range up. Huh? It also looks so cool, man. I feel like it's so hard to translate over, but you just gotta put yourself in my position. Being a youngin, a kid at like 12 years old or 11 or whatever the hell, and then hearing rebirths coming out and one of the first synergies they show is tiny planet brimstone and you see this dude one of a kind feeling nothing else compares my mind was blown you know what i should be doing is when i have a ton of invincibility i should be doing this you know just get a ton of different my shadow worms out because you know it's just extra damage look at me go the worm army approaches all right let's do it does that look like two? I can't tell. That looked like one, but I, I, I actually, I can't tell. I don't know. I have like no basis to tell. They could have been perfectly stacked up on top of each other for all I know. But it did do a ton of damage, so that's the only thing I care about. Uh, let's go down. Show time! Ouchie. Oh, okay, I see, I see. There you are. That's what you do. That's adorable. What are you gonna spawn me? A red heart? Well, I needed it for Dark Prince's crown. Thanks, buddy. That is an adorable adorable pickup dude i love the idea of this item also it's very generous 30 seconds to do a room like what that's crazy easy i appreciate you we got the dice room here roll everything uh i don't really think i want to be doing that that's cool i guess but i think what would be way cooler is if i got the rainbow heart you i mean like what 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 does it do i'm curious <laughs> it could have done anything it's literally like rgb gamer rave heart i like what could it have possibly done for me let's time our bomb properly here and then handle satan immediately by doing a little bit of this nice see you later and then i'm thinking one more just mega brim in your face you will be dying we could take the charge key on our way out and hopefully we get the win here now, i actually don't have the most hp ever and i've just lost another red heart this might be where judas comes into play if something incredible shows up like that to be fair is this where we do it we lock it in i don't know man this could be considered very stupid. <laughs> what is this? Arterial heart? Shoot tears in different directions. Increases fire rate when you are low on health. Um, that's, that's pretty cool, I guess. It's new, so I'll take it and then satanic and then die and then i don't know man we'll try this out absolutely satanic car battery makes it pop off twice so maybe things are looking a little better than i was expecting let's void it just because we can these are going to be our regular tiers from now on we have tiny planet tiers uh hopefully we pop off and don't die however evil eye has finally made its comeback making me feel better than ever i don't feel bad anymore about taking it over backstabber i can finally atone for my sins i would say that this is maybe even the reason we can win Thanks to a tiny little bit of evil eye action. I'm a fan. Okay, all right. Hey, yo, honestly, this run is pretty good. And of course, we still have access to the bloody stream. Here's another one of these weirdo hearts. So how about we go to that big rib and then pop it off. We'll get two more hearts. I could even take the ocular rift. I'd feel comfortable, honestly. Yeah, let's do it. Like, why not? Boom. Oh my God. It's the room I ever... Oh, I wanted. That was it. That was the one. Every room I've ever imagined led up to that moment. That was so sick. All those skeletons died at the press of a single space bar. I'm in love. Yeah, with that... That dude we have so many hearts uh, thanks to the satanic car battery i have no fears let's take it
We have another big room. Let's save another bloody stream for that. So let's just clear out these last two rooms. Whatever they have for me, I'm certain it will be nothing. It will pale in comparison. All right, come on. Let's see. Triple carried queen? Yeah, dude. As if that's going to be enough. Any chests? No. Our luck is actually generally pretty high here. We have like three base. We're not rocking perfection levels, but enough to make stuff work and uh, get a bit more chests than I'm expecting, which is nice. Tiny planet? Evil eye? Is uh, a bit of a combo. I never imagined would work out this well but it is and i'm happy it's here it's here to stay triple chest moment what do we got just a bunch of different passives these are nice i could have voided them but voiding them also means that i'd use my bloody stream in that room and i don't want to do that i'd rather use bloody stream against the lamb as a, a final blow moment secret room down here oh key man absolutely he gave us uh Trevorton book i guess nice and why am i dancing oh i'm dancing for the void yeah dude so hype hello as if um we get a hyper coag that's fine as well i know for a fact we are close to the boss i'm not gonna take the bait and press space bar here at all i'm gonna wait it out even just one more room it should be enough there it is i did not know you could drop chests that's awesome gimme gimme you pay it with mom's eye and that'll be it what a smooth as hell run brimstone 2 just dropped and it is immaculate nothing could stop me in fact i could buff myself up one last time and get dark princess crown that's incorrect i'm dark judas moment okay well either way we full cleared it and we locked it in here we go one final thing to do i'm gonna wait for the split here press space bar and then you are done say goodbye later lamb and we're not actually done just kidding one more thing to do delirium all right buddy where are you cut to the moment where i find you and demolish you within two seconds okay i was kidding but i actually found delirium immediately so hello <laughs> Whoa, look at my damage. What the hell? Is it really that high? I wait, I was kidding, dude. If Delirium shows up, he might die in like five seconds. If I could just get some shots off, it's happening. It's happening. There he is. He died in five seconds. That was it. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules, but I just have that kind of damage right now. That was awesome. One last bloody stream just because it looks so cool. There's the full spiral. We finally get to see it. And I hope you enjoyed. GG.